Welcome back everyone. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and create the XML layout for our application so we can see how it's going to look before we implement the functionality. And that's it's not necessarily a good practice. It's something I like to do and it also gives you the flexibility to be able to uh, mock up your application and show it to your clients before actually creating the functionality behind the scenes. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we have, as you can see in Eclipse here, we have the generic white screen and we are creating a tip calculator. So we're gonna need we're gonna need the following a way to enter the total bill amount, a way to select how much you want to tip. Those are the two things we need from the user, but we'll also probably need some some text views to prompt the user to do what we want them to do. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to do everything entirely from the XML view simply because I prefer doing it that way and I feel like it gives you a little more control than just dragging things out here. It's a little more difficult but we'll, we'll be able to understand the complexities a lot more easily doing it this way. So I'll open up the XML. As you can see we have a relative layout here. The first thing I'm going to add is some padding just so that we can get um, some space around all the components that are embedded in this relative layer. It just makes it look a lot more neat. And then the what we want to add at the very top is the text view. This is going to be the text view asking the user to enter their total bill amount. So I'll go ahead and we'll do Android. Let's see. The first thing you always want to do when making these components is the ID. And we do at plus ID because we want to the at implies to look for that ID and the plus says if it's not there just create it and we need to have that there because we want to it, this is the first time we're creating this component so we need to create it so we're gonna say this is gonna be a text prompt and we want to then define the width and the height this is a good practice ID and then width and height so let's do Android layout width and we'll do wrap content for now. This is just a placeholder to take up the all this only the space it needs. And then we'll do layout height as well. And we'll also do wrap content for that. Let's center it horizontally so that the text looks nice in the middle of the screen. We'll do Android center horizontal, set that to true. And as you're creating your own applications, an easy way to find out if we have a component or have an, an attribute which does what you want it to do, such as centering horizontally, is just to type Android colon and then control space and you can browse through them as you need to. Of course, the best way is to view the documentation, um, but just playing around with the, the attributes that you have is a great way to learn. So we've centered it horizontally. Let's now make the text size. Let's do 20 SP. SP is scalable pixels, so it's uh, density independent pixels, but it also scales based on the user's text size preferences. So you always want to use SP when you're talking about text size. And finally, we'll have the text say, enter the total bill amount. We'll come back into the graphical layer and we'll see we have that right at the top. So below there, we're going to want to have an edit text where the user can input their own text. So we'll actually drag this one from the from the form widget pane over or from the palette pane on the left here. So we want to add a decimal number. We'll add that right there and we're actually just going to leave that as is. There's no need to change it. That looks fine the way it is right now. But the, the difference you'll notice is that the input type is decimal. That's going to tell the Android operating system to open the number keypad when the user prompts or when the user opts to use that edit text field. Then we're going to need some buttons at the bottom of, the, of this screen to allow the user to select which tip amount they want. Of course, there's many more neat and nifty ways we could do that. But for the sake of simplicity, we'll just use buttons for now. So I'm going to go ahead and create them all here. I'm going to create them all at once. And again, we'll create the ID first. I'll call this tip, oh, tip 20. And then I'll do Andro Android 
Layer width. We're gonna match parent. We want to take up the whole width of the of the screen there. Layout height. We'll wrap the content. And we want the Android text to say 20%. And then I'm gonna go ahead and copy this three times and then I'll use control I to fix the indentation because we're gonna have three buttons we're gonna have three different tip amounts that we can use we'll change this to tip 15 for 15 percent and 10 here we'll change this to 15 percent and we'll change this to 10 percent now we have to define where our components are going to be on the screen so I'll go ahead and do that now we want to align the 20 percent at the very bottom so we'll do align parent bottom, set that to true. That's only available in relative layout. Relative layout is one of the most flexible layout options to use. I highly recommend using that. So we've aligned to the parent bottom. If we come into the view, we'll now see it there. That's great. And these other ones, I want to stack them on top of the bottom one relative to their locations. So. We'll do Android layout above. Again, this is only for relative layout because we're now creating the locations of these views relative to other views. And we'll say we want to do it above tip 20. So when we save, we'll see that it's right there. And then we will do the same. I will do something very similar for tip 10 layout above at plus ID tip 15 we should see it right above there so we have the total bill amount and we have the users ability to select the tip but we want to have something a little more let's add a text view here that's asking the user to select the tip amount just to leave nothing ambiguous we'll say text view Android ID gets at plus ID slash tip prompt Android with layout width is going to wrap content again Android layout height wrap content Android text size we are gonna do 20 SP again and then we're going to do Android text we're gonna say please or we'll just say select a tip amount and finally we need to define the location of this view so we're gonna do Android above layout above at plus ID at plus ID we're going to place that right above tip 10 and we will see it's here but we see it's not centered horizontally so we're going to have to go and fix that so we'll do that now Android center horizontal true so if we've created our first layout here there's going to be one more layout we're going to create and then we will do that or sorry we'll implement the functionality after we've done that but that's it for now. I'm going to keep these in small bite-sized chunks. So thanks for watching, folks. Again, if you want to view some of the other videos on the channel or advance through the series, you can use the annotations on the left here. And we will go ahead and continue doing this in the next episode. But thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful day.